World of Warcraft feels like a game again to me. It was just four months ago that I released a video lamenting that WoW and other video games feel less like games to me and more like jobs, and that the high-octane pacing and community of these games and storylines was wearing on me. Well, The War Within feels different to me, and it seems a lot of things that I was unhappy about have changed. Sure, I'm writing and reflecting on this only after experiencing the early access, but so far I'm very, very pleased. While the main story does have its high-octane moments, the characters we're traveling with are ones that we have some history with, so it doesn't feel weirdly melodramatic like it might otherwise. But really, to me, the beauty of this expansion so far has not been the main story, it's been the content that's off the beaten path. Like this side quest, which I won't spoil the storyline, but it was extremely emotional and touching for me. If you know, you know. Or this other side quest here in Hallowfall where you trade love letters back and forth between two people that are far away from each other. To me, this brings back memories of the farmsteads in Elwyn Forest. One of the things I really harped on in the last video of mine was being in a world that felt lived in, and not just some abandoned old continent that was found again after 10,000 years. And furthermore, I wanted to feel part of that world again, like my character actually lived in it, not the champion of Azeroth or the ultimate savior that ever existed of all time. And in my experience with The War Within, my character keeps getting called outsider or friend most of the time, instead of champion or hero or savior of Azeroth or Ma Walker. You aren't special, you're just a dude. And that feels good. Some of the side quests are mundane, like picking up eggs for some guy just to help him out, or helping this other lady find her lost homework. And I'm using the word mundane in a good way here, because I'm not always off saving the world. So far, actually, I've been helping citizens live better lives across the different zones of Khazal Gar, or I'm sitting down to learn a board game with Anduin and Farron. And doing these small menial tasks have actually made me connect with the world more, in fact, I feel more invested in this expansion in just a few days than I ever really did with Dragonflight and especially Shadowlands. Another thing I've been really enjoying are the small touches here and there that have made each zone feel really alive and really unique and immersive. You know how in Dragonflight you could find dirt all over the aisles that you needed to dig up, or you could find expedition packs strewn about, or you could find Tuskar tackle boxes to loot? And they were there regardless of the zone that you were in, they were everywhere. Well, in The War Within, each zone has a unique type of treasure. In Hollowfall, we have these Cobus Ritual Caches and Arathi Treasure Hordes, which are awesome. And in The Ringing Deep, there are Machine Speaker Reliquaries. The point I'm trying to get across here is that, functionally, it's exactly the same system as we had in Dragonflight, but because of these small touches that make them unique to their zone, the zone feels more realized, more fleshed out, and more immersive. And the aesthetic of these different treasures match the culture. And that's another thing worth touching on. Culture. The culture of each of the factions that you find within each zone are awesomely believable. It really feels like a culture that could exist for good reason. I mean, it makes sense. And we're just outsiders getting dropped into an existing culture. It's deep. And I don't just mean the major faction reputations. I even mean races and factions like the Kobolds. There's reasons for what they're doing at every moment that make sense, and not just in the context of the broader story. Here's a comparison to show you what I mean. In Dragonflight, the Sundered Flame led by Sarkareth had believable reasons and goals, sure, but everything we saw of them was only ever if it related to the main story arc that was already going on. The fact that in The War Within, the Kobolds like candles, they need to steal resources to survive, and they're afraid of the dark, are completely separate from what Zalatath is doing, and they would still be doing and feeling those same things even if she never existed. In short, the main story fits into a world that was already made, instead of a world needing to be made to fit the story. I think now is the right time to address the elephant in the room. There's a change bigger than anything that I've mentioned so far, and it has nothing to do with Blizzard. It's me, and it's the way I've been playing the game and the expansion. The biggest piece of feedback I received in that last video is that the World of Warcraft that I've always wanted and that I was lamenting about has always been there. It was just up to me to see it and to make it a reality. The thoughtful side quests and the small moments of world building or the great storytelling or the companions and NPCs that make you feel equal to them and part of the world and a community of like-minded players. It's all there and it always has been. As a player, I was giving into the mainstream, the meta, the critical path, in essence, I was in it for the quick hit, and the quick hits and the dopamine spikes just weren't doing it for me anymore. And sure, it's harder now to play in this relaxed and fun way, 
and it's harder to find others like you, but it exists and for me, the effort has been well worth it. These last four months I've really slowed down, smelled the peace bloom, and started playing World of Warcraft as a game again. And I hope in the war within and beyond, you can too. Thanks for watching and take care.